Beautiful. We got Red Shoal over here. There's Red Shoal. What's up? How you doing, man? <laughs> Trey Guitars is giving away this Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul to one of you. How to enter? Subscribe to Playing Trey Guitars on YouTube and we'll give it away when we hit 50,000 subscribers. All right, so we're releasing our first double cut model. It's the evolution of the Lorada, which is a single cut design. We normally do multi-scale but we just in fixed bridge, but we decided to do a floating trim. This will go to 510. Yeah. And we did a standard scale as opposed to the fan fret. Yeah. For the guys who prefer that. And then the double cutaway thing is, you know, just an aesthetically different design, but it also uh, there's some thumb over the neck players who maybe had I, you know, issues with the single cut. So sure. this basically answers all those questions. Sure. Uh, it's a deep set glue joint for the neck. This is roasted figured maple. We use a kume for the bodies, which is a type of, it's a species similar to mahogany, but it's lighter. Um, and there's just some cool aesthetic, like the racing stripe, and uh, I got my Fishman Fluence in here. We got these hip shot locking tuners with these cool barrel uh, tuning pegs. I gotta say, can I grab this from you? Yeah. This is, so this model's called the Emmy. Uh, like I said, it's a double cut Lorada. This one is different. It's got uh, two Fishman single coils and then my, my humbucker in the bridge. Um, we do this dual finish where you have flat surfaces are matte satin, and then the polished, uh, the, the round, the beveled edges are all high, high gloss polished. So you got this sort of contrast and reflective surfaces. Uh, this one features an asymmetrical neck profile where it's thicker on the this side and it slightly thins out. Uh, similar to what your hand does, uh, the yeah, neck that's does. That's a good way to look at it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this has a roasted figured maple neck and an ebony fingerboard, a kume body, uh, five-way selector, and then there's a voice one in, there's two voices per pickup, so the amount of combinations is pretty crazy. I want to talk to you guys about the, our Space T line of guitars. It's still based on our main Lorada shape, so you get similar body style, but it's a, you know, it's a tribute to kind of a T-style guitar. So we have some more classic appointments, um, 25 and a half inch scale length, uh, not multi-scale in this one, obviously. Uh, bone nut instead of uh, the usual graphite nut, nuts that we use. Um, the pickups are really interesting on this. So this is there's still Fishman Fluence, which is what we use across all of our products, but uh, this is the Greg Cox signature set. Okay. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's got an uh, underwound, overwound setting, which is kind of cool. You, you, can, you can, you know, mid, mid song, you can turn it on and get a little bit of a boost. And uh, everything's noiseless, which is nice too. It's always so, nice, yeah. Yeah, go to a bridge. Um, this particular one, you know, we, we have a lot of very clean, kind of like more modern takes on guitars. This was, you know, a more extreme relic than we usually go for. So, you know, I like maybe, it. It's, it's like, tasteful. It looks yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. It's um, I don't think any of our guitars have been around long enough to look like this, but uh, it's fun. This is Tosin's live rig, and so um, it's a clean platform. Yeah. So all the gain, everything else you hear is coming through pedals, That's and awesome. uh, the amp takes pedals very well. The way the tone is voiced is actually really useful. It doesn't get too nasal. You try if you roll it off a little bit, warms up, it takes a little bit of the edge off, and sounds really balanced. Try, uh, try the. So right now you're on a regular uh, setting. If you hit that button, you'll be overwhelmed.
Yep, that's the one. This boost, this boost uh, I'm not too familiar with, but it sounds yeah. fantastic when you use it. Yeah, it, doesn't, it, it changes the Q curve a little bit, but really, if you, if you just want to push your amp a little bit more yeah. on the input, yeah. that kind of it does the trick. Obviously, we all know what you do with Animals as Leaders, the incredible work you do there, but I heard you're also branching out and getting inspired by some other different music, maybe a little blues, jazz thrown in there. What keeps you busy these days? What keeps you driving? Uh, driving. <laughs> I like cars. Um, oh, do you? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. You got a favorite? Yeah. I, <laughs> I like McLaren. Nice. I like Ferrari. Good I like taste. Porsche. Good taste. Yeah. Fast stuff. They're all, they're all great and different, but, um, yeah, look, I got into the blues over the pandemic as a player. Like, I, for some reason, I felt like there was enough blues guys in the world that I didn't need to be one. But I think I was kind of immature in that perspective, and I really connected with the fact that the blues is like a, a language. And yeah. it's been fun learning to speak that language. I'm still a noob, but uh, I want to incorporate some. So that's all I'll say. So on this one, it's actually going to be right here on the back. Wow. So if you step on it, you don't plug it. Nice. <laughs> so this is a new, uh, our new take. It's a double cut version of Lorada, and we changed some of the appointments and new neck profiles. Um, first for us is the single, single, single pickup configuration. So these are the Fishman Fluence as well, um, but kind of a different take on Lorada. <laughs> You also have that here. If you pull up on the oh, really? back voice too, check it out. So it gets a little bit fuller sounding. Thank you so much for doing this, My taking pleasure. a little bit of time for playing Trey Guitars. The guitars are fantastic. Ivan, thank you so My much. Pleasure. For playing Trey Guitars, I'm John, this is Zach, and this has been an incredible look at these Boston guitars. Thank you guys so much for your time, okay. and uh, enjoy the show. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you all. Thank you so much. Yeah, I can play this one easier than mine.